I'm Naomi, I'm gonna show you guys how I painted a ukulele. The first thing that I did was I bought a ukulele. The best you're gonna get for a cheap ukulele is like 40 bucks. And that's pushing it. That's if you add, if you modify it and you add strings and nice things. But either way, um, so I bought a Macaulay uke, which is $42, and I'll show you that now. Um, and it is this yellow color that um, I was not too crazy about, but that's okay because I painted it and it looks better now. The first thing that you need to do, aside from buying the uke, is buying other things like the paint. I bought acrylic paint and um, that worked really well and it looked really nice and I didn't put a whole lot of coats. And then I also bought a Mod Podge, which is a acrylic paint sealer. Um, I bought a spray can version of that and it worked really well and it um, it sealed the paint in really nice and it gave it a nice gloss. That was like four bucks. And then the paint, I had a discount uh, coupon thing, so that was like $15. Um, overall, the whole project I spent about a hundred bucks, but that's also including the Aquila strings that I bought and the Grover tuners that I bought. So that was that was about my budget was a hundred bucks, and I spent that much. But anyway, let's get into the first step of actually painting the uke and getting that started. First thing you need to do is sand, and sanding is going to take the longest amount of time. Um, in painting this uke. And, and that all depends on your design and how intricate you want to get with it. But um, first thing you definitely need to do is sand it down to just the wood. Like, sand it all the way down. And for this Macaulay uke, like, it's it's got like a billion coats of paint on it and gloss and it was really tough getting all that paint off. Take the strings off, obviously, and the, uh, the tuners off too. So that way you could just get the whole thing sanded down. I didn't sound, sand down the um, fretboard because I thought that, uh, well, the, the wood up there is, is a lot softer than the rest, so I didn't want to mess with that. Um, but I did paint over it, um, and I haven't had any problems, so it looks fine. The next thing that you need to do is actually get into the painting. Uh, the first thing that I did was I painted, and I probably should have done this a different way, but I painted the beginning parts of the mystery machine on here because spoiler alert it was a mystery machine ukulele and I looked up the design online and of the actual mystery machine and I wanted to do something similar to that so I started I drew it on with a pencil and then I just painted in between the lines and um, when I finished with one one part of it one color I'd let that dry for a few hours and then come back to it and paint another part of it different color and then wait for that to dry and then kept doing that back and forth. Um, I added the flowers on there, um, orange, which is really hard. I tried to use a stencil on there, but I made a stencil out of like paper and it didn't work too well. So the flowers are a little smudged, but um, from far away, they look great. And depending on what your design is and, and depending on like how much patience you have, uh, be mindful of that when you are designing the uke and what you want to do and what you want to paint because you do need to let each color dry so that it doesn't mix with the other colors. Anyway, so the final product is right here and it looks great. I'm really happy with it and um, at the end of it all I added, I sprayed it down with Mod, Pop, Mod Podge and um, sealed it, waited that to dry a full day, so 24 hours. And then I came back and I put the tuners on. I put these tuners on, the Grover, Grover tuners, and um, I ended up having to drill holes, drill in a little bit bigger holes into these because the little grommets didn't fit uh, just right. So you have to get them in there real snug, so you may have to do a little bit of drilling in there to get it. But be very careful that you don't screw it up. Uh, but anyway, so I put the tuners in, I put the strings on, and I tuned it and it sounds great and I'm really happy with it. Um. I'm really happy with the way that this uke turned out and I hope that I helped you figure out how to paint your uke and I'm going to be doing a lot more um, painting jobs in the future and I'll be showing you guys that too. So thanks for watching and bye.